Hi there and welcome to this series on the stock market which really is a wonderful place in which to build wealth over the long term. Now in this first video series I'm going to be looking at the really important concept of compounding and a couple of key messages that I want to bring out here. First one is why starting as early as possible is so important and can have such a massive impact on your wealth building. And the second question is just the impact that being able to achieve a bit better return can make on your long-term wealth building. So let's have a look at a couple of investors. First investor A starts at age 18 and is able to gain a 10% return per annum consistently for 12 years. So by age 30 in this example they stop contributing and the, during that period of 12 years they've contributed $400 a month but they continue to invest in a way that allows them to get a consistent 10% return on average over time. So by the time they reach age 55, even though they've only contributed for 12 years, they've amassed nearly $1.2 million in wealth. Now let's have a look at investor B. They start probably at a time that's uh, more normal for most people and that's more like 30 years of age, but they have to invest at the same rate, $400 a month, but they do it for the full 25 years and having done that so they've contributed a lot more money over time but they've only amassed a bit over half a million dollars so there's a massive difference in starting just that little bit earlier in terms of your long-term wealth building now let's look at investor C investor C also starts at age 30 contributes the same amount for 25 years but is able to get a bit better return. They're able to do things in a way that allows them to get a 15% average return over time. And so at age 55, they've managed to accumulate about $1.3 million in, um, in total wealth. So massive, massive difference between those, uh, those uh, three investors. So the really clear messages that I wanna get across is that starting as early as possible is a huge advantage but if you haven't done that then even 50 or 60 is not too late to start start somewhere it's really important and the second thing is to put yourself in an environment where you can consistently generate a bit better return than what the mainstream is doing and as you saw from that previous example the difference over time is absolutely massive now I just want to, to underscore this, I just want to have a look at the All Ordinaries Index in Australia and the returns over the last 5 and 10 years. So let's take a look at those. So this is a chart of the, of the uh, All Ordinaries Index in Australia looking over about the last uh, 20 years. Now if you'd bought into the market 10 years ago in January of 2003 then you would have come into the market at uh, around about 3,000 points the market then uh, had an amazing rise to the peak in um, late 2007 uh, but then of course during the GFC fell very very heavily and has only regained part of those losses so that over that 10 year period your net gain was only around 66 percent in total or about 6.6 percent per year which really is um, is you know is is a pretty average sort of return for most people now if you'd invested in January of 2008 so five years ago and that's when a lot of people really did start getting into the market in 2006 and 2007 because the news was very positive then in actual fact you're probably still sitting on a 20 to 22 percent loss over that period so yes there's been some uh, there's been some good gains in uh, in recent times but um, you'd still be behind overall for that uh, that particular period so it's really important to understand that there is a smarter way to do this that you can actually get a much better return by doing a few things differently so a couple of questions to ponder the first one is do you have a plan to grow your trading and investing capital the second one is where are you now in terms of your wealth building journey and thirdly what do you want to achieve and that's always a hard one for many people to to know what's realistic so if you're answering no to those questions then you really shouldn't be starting in the stock market 
until you are able to put some substance to those particular questions now in the future videos we're going to be look, looking at how to go about getting consistently better returns because there is a process for doing that people like Warren Buffett have proved that that process works over the long period of time and the other question is what elite investors do to produce wealth far more quickly and reliably than just about everybody else there are some consistent things that they do that actually makes it work better so I look forward to seeing you in the next video cheers